Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create a bar chart with floating icons. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows sales of different car brands in the year 2021 in terms of thousands. This is a simple bar chart that you already know how to create in Tableau. But what different I have done in this bar chart is that instead of giving the name of car brand as the header below each bar, I have used the logo of these car brands as the header to make a good looking bar chart. So these all are the custom PNG images that I first downloaded from the internet and then added to the Tableau repository. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create a bar chart with floating icons. First, let me show you the car dataset that I'm using for this tutorial. So here we have two columns. First column contains the name of different car brands and second column gives us the information about the sales of these car brands in the year 2021 in terms of thousands. Let me increase the size of this column. So sales of Tata in the year 2021 was 331,000. Then if we look at MG, the sales in 2021 was 40,000. I have added the link of this data set in the description below. Now let's go to sheet one. First, we will create a bar chart to show sales of different car brands. So drag car brand to the column shelf and drag sales to the row shelf. Let's change the fit to entire view. Turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button and arrange these bars in descending order. So this is a simple bar chart that shows sales of different car brands with name of each car brand coming as the header below each bar. Now to give logo of each car brand as header, we will create a dual axis chart. So create a new calculated field. Click on the drop down. Click on create calculated field. Let's name it logo and write down here minus window underscore max sum of sales multiplied by 0 0.1 we want the logo to come just below the bars at a constant distance from each of the bar so what we are trying to do in this calculation is first we are trying to find the maximum value from this bar chart using window max function and just multiplying this calculation with 0 0.1 as we want the logo to come below the bar we are using a negative sign click on ok now drag this calculated field that we have created to row shelf next to the sales field click on the drop down and select dual axis now select mark type as bar for this sales field and select mark type as shape for this logo field now right click on the axis and click on synchronize axis now to give different shape to each of this car brand go to this logo field and drag car brand to shape and remove measure names from color we don't want these labels that are coming here so make sure logo field is selected go to label and uncheck 
show mark labels click anywhere outside to give different color to these bars also go to this sales field and drag car brand to color now let's edit these shapes and give car brand logo as new shapes go to this logo field then click on shape you can select any shape that you want to give to these car brands so here we want to give car brand logo as shapes to each of these bars so we will have to add custom images in tableau i have already downloaded the png logos of these car brands and added them in the tableau repository i have already created a video where i have shown how to add custom images in tableau i will share the link of that video in the description below and you will also find the link of that video on the top right corner now let me select the logo for each of these car brands so this is bmw then land rover then is mahindra next is mg next is porsche next is skoda next is tata and the last one is volkswagen click on okay now let's hide this header right click and uncheck show header let's increase the size of these so that they are clearly visible go to this logo field then go to size and just increase the size so that they are clearly visible if you want more distance between the bar and the logo then just edit the calculated field that we have created uh, let me show you go to this logo calculated field that we have created click on the drop down and select edit let me write here 0.2 and click on apply so now you will observe that we have more space between the bar and the logo you can change the number as per your requirement let me keep it 0.1 here click on okay let's remove these axes right click and uncheck show header right click on this axis and uncheck show header let's remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders from here select none for the row divider and select none for the column divider then go to lines from here go to rows select none for the grid lines and select none for the zero lines now let's edit the color of these bars so that the color matches with the color of the logo from here click on the drop down and click on edit colors so double click on this color then click on pick screen color and let's select this blue color click on okay then for land rover let's select this green color click on okay then for mahindra click on pick screen color and let's select this red color click on okay next is mg double click on this color click on pick screen color and select this red color click on okay then porsche click on pick screen color let's select this mustard color click on okay then is skoda click on pick screen color select this green color click on okay next is tata select this blue color click on okay and last one is foxwagon and select this blue color click on okay and again click on okay 
now go to labels and from here go to font and click on match mark color so that the color of the labels also matches with the color of the bars let's increase the size of these labels again go to label from here let's select font size as 10 and click on bold let me select 11 yes this looks good lastly let's give a black border to these bars go to color and from here select this black border so here we have a bar chart that shows sales of different car brands with the car brand logo added as the header now if you want these logos to come at the top of the bar then we will have to create another calculated field let me close this format lines and just duplicate this logo field click on duplicate and let's edit this field click on edit earlier we were using negative sign because we wanted the logo to come at the bottom of each of the bar now remove this negative sign and instead write down here sum of sales and a plus sign and keep this remaining formula as it is so this calculated field will help us to add the logo at the top of each bar and also at a constant distance from each of the bar click on ok now instead of this logo field drag the new calculated field that we have created and you need to make sure that compute using table across is selected so here we are getting the car brand logos at the top of the bar at a constant distance from each of the bar similarly if you want more distance between the bar and the logo just edit the calculated field click on edit and just change the number here let me write down here 0 0.2 click on apply so now you will see that the distance between the bar and the logo has increased click on ok here you will observe that the black border is not clearly visible here so let's edit the axis right click and click on edit axis from here just uncheck include zero now the black borders are clearly visible let's hide this axis right click and click on uncheck show header so in this way we can create a bar chart and give custom shapes as header to make a good looking bar chart so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook and the data in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial